This video is about how to use robo trading with Trading212. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212 and I'd like to explain how you can now access automated trading using Trading212's app. Now you might have heard of algorithmic or algo trading, which is a way of placing automated trading instructions into the market. Trading212 have now added an exciting new feature called robo trading to their app that allows you to easily use algo trading. They've done this by partnering with a company called ProQuant. Now, algo trading previously tended to be the preserve of investment banks and hedge funds, but ProQuant have made it readily available to retail traders all through an easy to use app. Best of all, you don't need to be able to code at all. You can either choose from their library of pre-built strategies or create your own. And then you can choose to receive trading signals or to execute your trades automatically through Trading 212's app. Well, let's first take a look at how to choose a strategy from ProQuant's library. This is ProQuant's app and we are looking at their strategy library. You can see that there are two tabs that you can choose from. You can either choose to filter by which strategies are popular or by instruments. So there's a list of instruments there. Now, as we scroll down through the popular um, strategies, um, you can see the maximum drawdown and the percentage monthly return that has been historically yielded by the strategy. A drawdown is basically a measure of decline in equity or profit, and the maximum drawdown is the worst peak to trough of profit and loss over the life of the strategy. So here is one for euro versus US dollar, which is obviously a very popular FX pair. If I actually wanted to see what else is available for euro versus US dollar, I can just switch over to the instruments filter here and then scroll down and look for euro versus US dollar. Um, and there it is. And if I click on that, then we can get to see a lot more strategies. Um, so let's say that I'm interested more in this second one down. So I can click on this plus icon here uh, and this will add it to my list of strategies. Or I can select this play icon in order to actually run the strategy. I can now choose how much money I want to allocate to this strategy, how much leverage I want, and my trade size. Um, so I've done that now, and when you're happy with the selected values, you can click Next. And it now prompts me to turn on automated trading for this strategy. If I leave automated trading switched off, then the strategy will just run in simulation mode. So I just switch this on next to my connected account and then click on run with automated trading. So there we go. It says that my strategy is now running. So now that I am running a strategy, if I go to the My Strategies screen, we can see that I have one running, which is my selected Euro versus US dollar strategy. Um, now it says waiting for entry signal, average wait time one day. So this strategy is obviously one that doesn't execute trades with a great deal of frequency based on past performance. So you would just need to wait for it to get the right signal for it to execute the trade automatically. When it does, the trade would appear as open here and you'd be able to see your profit or loss. You click on the trade, you'd be able to see how your profit or loss was coming along for that trade. And of course, because I turned on automated trading for my connected account, if a trade is triggered in ProQuant, then it automatically executes the trade with Trading212. I'm now showing a trade that has been triggered in ProQuant. And if we jump over to the Trading212 app, we can see this reflected in my open positions with Trading212. And it's even labeled as being a trade where the instruction has come from the ProQuant app. So we can see the euro versus US dollar position there that was opened by ProQuant. Let's now take a look at how to use the strategy generator. The first step is to choose an instrument that you're interested in trading. And we have broad types listed along the top. Um, I'm going to select the commodities tab here and choose gold. It now asks for you to define an amount of virtual funds that you want the strategy to start with. Just to make that clear, this isn't real money that you're specifying here. It's for the purposes 
of simulation. I'm just going to choose the $30,000 that it prompts me to and I'll click on continue. And the next step is the amount of leverage. I'm happy with one to 20. So once again, I'm going to click on continue. And we now specify a trade size that the strategy will use for positions. I'm going to choose 10 units here. Uh, and I now click on start generating. And we can see that it is now generating a large number of strategies, literally thousands of them. For each one, we can see the simulated performance metrics in terms of maximum drawdown, monthly return, and average monthly result. Um, and if I go back to using uh, choosing another instrument from the strategy generator, I'll go back to the start here. We can see that there's also an option to continue in advanced mode. If I click on that, then it takes me into the advanced settings of the generator, which gives you quite a long list of extra options that you can see here, giving you even more control over how your strategy operates. Connecting the Trading 212 app to ProQuant's app is easy. Here I am in Trading 212's app. And I just need to click on the menu icon and select Robo Trading. Now, if you don't already have the ProQuant app installed, you'll need to do that. We can see I'm getting a message saying set up ProQuant and it's telling me to get the ProQuant app. So I'll just need to click on get there and it would take me either to the Play Store or the App Store, whichever is relevant to you, and then just install the app. So I have now installed the ProQuant app and I've set up an account with ProQuant. Um, so we'll go to RoboTrading one more time and go through this process of set up ProQuant. This time I now have a ProQuant account. So rather than clicking on get, I'll click on the I have a ProQuant account. And I just need to put in the email address of the ProQuant account that I want to connect to. So I'm, I've actually just been using the same email address for all of these. Um, so I'll just enter that in now. And once I've done that, all I have to do is click request access. And it says that my request has been sent and then I'll be notified uh, when I improve it. I'll click on OK there. Um, and what you can actually do is go to the ProQuant app. Uh, so here I am in the ProQuant app. And I'm going to click on the menu icon and I can see that I've got a, uh, a message arrived here in my connection section. If I go through there, then it, it's prompting me saying that um, there's a trading 212 account here to approve. So I click on approve and there it is, my connected account. Um, I've now connected the two apps between trading 212 and ProQuant. So that's how to use Robo Trading with Trading 212's app. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. Or if you've got any feedback, why not send us a message in the comments section? We do read through every comment we receive. And as well as doing these tutorial videos, we also do plenty of other videos covering analysis of popular markets, including gold and oil and the euro versus the US dollar. And the best way to access all that video content is to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to Trading 212's YouTube channel. And we upload new videos on a regular basis. If you click the alarm bell icon, then you'll get a notification the next time we upload a new video. That's all for this time from me, Peter Martin, and Trading 212. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.